We're learning more about five people, including a local probate judge and a former firefighter who are charged in connection with stealing valuable items from a Cranston man's estate. According to the indictments, the defendants took a million dollars worth of sports cards as well as a number of firearms from the late man's home. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish combed through court documents and joins us with the details. Kayla. 71-year-old James Barbieri of Cranston passed away in 2021 with no will. Court documents show he had a vast collection of sports cards and about 150 guns, all items that prosecutors say were taken from his home. Five people indicted by a grand jury and facing various charges for their roles in the theft of valuables from a late Cranston man's estate. Among them, Sylvia Santilli, listed in Barbieri's obituary as a, quote, dear friend. According to an indictment obtained by 12 News, Santilli took items from his Summit Drive home days before he died. After his passing, court documents say Santilli, her daughter Jillian Chattel, and Chattel's boyfriend Luke Bowman took more items from the home, looked up market rates for some of the cards, then sold a portion of the collection. Bowman is a former Providence firefighter who was let go in December 2021 for reasons unrelated to this case, according to the fire chief. Also charged Priscilla DeMeo, the probate judge in Johnston, who has since been placed on leave. Court documents say she and her husband, both attorneys, were in constant communication with Santilli. According to the indictment, items like cash, tools, and vintage adult magazines were removed from Barbieri's house and taken to DeMeo's home. The fifth person charged is James Connors, who owns a gun repair store in Johnston. He's accused of receiving and later selling the weapons stolen from Barbieri's home. Both DeMeo and Connors are charged with attempting to obtain money under false pretenses and providing a false document to a public official. DeMeo's attorney sent us a statement saying she, quote, maintains her innocence and will aggressively defend herself and her reputation. We've tried contacting the other defendants for comment, but have not yet heard back. Santilli, Chattel, and Connors were arraigned on Thursday. Bowman and DeMeo are set to be arraigned next week. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.